Hello everyone, how are we all doing? We have reached the end of 2022 and this is my final video of the year. I really wanted to do a proper long video reflection on what this year has been for me and I really came to the conclusion that 2022 has been the hardest year of my life. Before I thought about all of this, I kind of labeled it as the worst year of my life, but I definitely wouldn't say that now. There have been harder moments that I've had to deal with, but I do think that there were definitely some bright moments and some happy memories that I've made. So no, I can't say that this was the worst year. As part of my own reflection, I do want to go through from the beginning of the year the things that I experienced. I won't go into too much detail of the things that I went through because I do obviously want to keep my private life private. But I will give some trigger warnings so that if you don't want to watch a video containing things of this nature, that's fine. You can click away and hopefully I will see you again sometime soon with another video. So for my trigger warnings, I'm going to put depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts and my struggles with my eating disorder. Once again, if any of those topics are very triggering for you, you don't have to watch this video. You are more than welcome to click off. I completely understand. Please take care of yourself and I hope that you have a magnificent new year. With all that being said, I'm going to get started talking about what I went through this year. The beginning of 2022 started off very happy for me. I was going on a lot of adventures with my family around the city. I finally started getting into reels properly on Instagram. And I found that photographing and documenting my memories through reels and through Instagram content creation was something that I really enjoyed. And I also started to wonder if that was something that I could kind of make more into a career, if I could get into social media marketing or any kind of content creation, I thought that, that could be something that I would really be good at and really enjoy. But another thing that I was really struggling with was coming into the year once again without a plan and without a job. Last year in 2021 in December, I just finished a teaching internship and so now I was coming fresh into a new year with no job and no plan. I didn't know if teaching was something that I wanted to go into right away, so now I just finished some work experience in a field that I didn't know if I wanted to venture into. And on top of that, I have my honors degree in psychology and I still don't know if that is a field that I want to venture into anymore. So there I was in the new year, still in my childhood bedroom, still without a job. Obviously this brought up a lot of anxiety and a lot of confusion for me and I was really struggling with that most days. I remember feeling so helpless, so lost, so insecure, just feeling like I had no way forward. I knew that I didn't want this year to be lost, but I really didn't know what I was going to do. And then the most amazing thing happened. I got a role in a short film that was directed by my friend Yuri Bahari Leek. I posted a lot about it on my Instagram, the movie is called X. We started filming it in March and it was honestly the most incredible, uplifting, beautiful experience I've ever had. Working on this film meant everything to me. It lifted me out of a really dark place and it reminded me once again of my purpose as a creative and as an actress. So that was an incredibly uplifting experience. And then something incredible happened after that. I actually managed to get a job in digital marketing. I was a complete newbie on this job. I had no experience in digital marketing whatsoever, but I actually managed to learn everything on the job. Things were really looking up and things were really falling into place, but then I got knocked down. I don't want to talk about exactly what happened, but the thing that happened knocked me flat on my back. I went to a very dark place emotionally where I had never felt so much despair and loneliness and hopelessness. I was completely shattered and it took me into an extremely terrifying depressive episode that lasted two months. It was two months of the most intense crippling sadness that I'd ever felt. May all the way through to July was probably the hardest time that I've had in my life as a young adult. During this time I was not myself. I can't remember a time during those two months where I was happy. It was the weight of the sadness sitting on my chest and it was there every morning when I woke up and every night when I went to sleep. I think that for most nights during those two months I cried myself to sleep every single night. And because I wasn't really talking about what I was going through, I couldn't really express to people the situation and exactly why I was feeling the way I was feeling. This really was a depressive episode like no other. I've never experienced anything like that and for so long. And it was during that time that I actually started to have suicidal thoughts. 
I've had suicidal thoughts in the past, but because I was in such a deep, dark place that I couldn't pull myself out of, this time it was a lot more intense and a lot more scary. And what was so horrible was that this period also extended into my birthday. I had such a wonderful 24th birthday party with all of my friends, but none of them really knew how much sadness I'd been experiencing through that point. I don't think I wanted them to know because I hadn't reached out to anyone really and I wasn't talking about what I was going through. I was really rotting from the inside out with this sadness and I didn't know how to deal with it. And to make matters worse, after my birthday, I felt really sick. Something really wrong was going on with my gut where I couldn't keep food down. I ended up being rushed to hospital where I had to have a colonoscopy and a gastroscopy. They actually didn't find anything wrong with my gut, well, physically wrong with my gut. And I essentially think that it was a psychosomatic response to my mental illness. You know, they say your gut is your second brain and I so genuinely believe that. I think that my gut was having a real response to the depression and to the anxiety that I'd been feeling for months. And it was during this time in hospital that I actually decided to leave my job. So after being discharged from hospital, I came home having to rest and relax in bed in order to recover, knowing that when I was fully recovered, I once again didn't have a job. But what's crazy is that as soon as I was healthy enough again, I actually went to an audition. And this time I went to audition for The Secret Garden. And this is the video I made all about it. I'm sure you guys have seen this all on my Instagram. I was posting about it nonstop. And that as all was one of the greatest times of my life. The Secret Garden was everything to me. This was also the year that I went to my first music festival with my best friend Erin. We went to Rocking the Daisies together. I also have a vlog about that if you guys want to check it out. So this really has been an incredibly tumultuous roller coaster year of intense highs and then really, really awful lows. And that's why I say that this is the hardest year that I've ever had to go through. I hate saying that this was a year that I had to go through because I really wish that I hadn't. I'm grateful for all the lessons learned in 2022, but I really wish that I didn't have to go through all the horrible things that I had to endure. But it happened to me and I just need to make sure that next year, I keep growing. I keep growing in my strengths, in my passions, in my creativity, in my weakness, in my beauty, in my softness. I'm not sure what I want yet for 2023, but I do know that I want it to be a year of growth. I know that I need to take charge and forge sure and direct paths that will lead me directly to the places that I need to go. I wanted 2022 to be a year of softness, but now I want 2023 to be a year of passionate and intense growth. Thank you so much for sitting with me through this. I hope that 2023 brings you softness and beauty and wonder and growth. So stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you soon. Bye.